So here's what you should do instead of discounting. Learn to communicate effectively with your customers. If you can create value and talk about your value, then your customers won't ever turn to discounting. And when it comes to value, if your price is here and the value that you articulate is up here, they're always gonna feel as though they're getting a bargain. But if, you're, if your price is here and you can't articulate value very well, they're expecting the value to be down here. And so that's where the deficit comes in and that's why they expect you to discount, to bring your service down to the level that they think it's worth because you haven't articulated your value well enough. The other thing you can do is build a brand. If you have a solid brand that never feels the need to discount, then people are coming to you for proximity to your brand. Think about brands like Ferrari, Louis Vuitton, Apple. They don't discount because they create value in other ways and people wanna be part of that brand, part of that culture and a part of that experience and they'll pay money to be a part of it. You can also know your customer really well and what it is that they value. So understand who you wanna attract into your business, what are their values and align your strategy around encompassing those values so that you can attract more of those customers into your business and less of the bargain hunters. Next up, work on your financial blueprint. Getting rid of that lack of self-worth is gonna help you feel comfortable with charging prices that your clients are probably prepared to pay because you know how to articulate value and you're giving them the experience and the value that they want. So seeking some information about financial blueprints, understanding what your blueprint is and changing your blueprint to be one that serves you is also gonna be beneficial for you. Some of our members are the most expensive in the marketplace and they don't apologize for it because they have now got the resources to invest back into their business, to hire better quality staff, to pay their staff more, to buy the machines that they're wanting, to go out there and win awards and have loyal clients because they never have to discount. So these are all things you can look forward to as well if you remove discounting from your core strategy in your business. I'll see you in the next video.